Hi, this is Jay from Analytics Bay. In the previous video, we saw that we need to save our code so that we can reuse it. For that, we need a text editor. In this video, we are going to see how to write a program in a text editor and run it. So let's get started. So there are three steps. First, write your code in text editor, save with .py extension and then run command python3 and the file name .py in terminal. I am using Mac laptop so I will use textmed editor. Let's open our textmed editor and write our first program. Now let's save it. Click on save as. I am going to save this program on desktop with file name hello world and with .py extension. Now click on save. Here we can see that our hello world.py file is saved. Now let's run this. Open terminal. Let's go to desktop and run command python 3 hello world.py click enter and here we go hello world is running successfully we can run this program and reuse this program number of times or wherever we want there are many advanced IDEs available like Sublime, Atom, VS Code, PyCharm, etc. These are designed for features like auto-indentation, syntax highlighting, auto-completion, etc. Which makes our development faster and saves a lot of time. Okay, till now we saw idle where we write code and see output but it doesn't support persistent code. Next, we just saw the text editor IDE. We can write persistent code and reuse it or run it again and again. But as a data analyst or data scientist or machine learning engineer or researcher scholar or scientific researcher, we need to execute code and see what happens, process data and visualize it in forms of charts, graph, etc also need to persist files means we need an interactive or scientific computing text editor id all these problems are solved by jupyter notebook so what is a jupyter notebook we will see this in the next video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and comment also do not forget to subscribe